researchers at Duke University have said they've worked out the ultimate limit of human endurance. You ready for this? Here are the results. They say it's capped at two and a half times the body's resting metabolic rate, or in the region of 4,000 calories being burnt a day for an average person. But in the long term, our bodies can't sustain something that's beyond that. Here's the lead author. We think that that boundary, the limits of what humans are able to do, are ultimately governed by how well you can take calories in. And we think that because when we look at really intense short races like triathlons or even 100 mile marathons compared to longer and longer races that are less intense, you see that the amount of work that people do every day is related to how much weight they lose and the crossover point where people are able to maintain their body weight and not lose weight in these events is about 4,000 calories a day. So anything more intense than that, they're not able to maintain body weight. They're burning calories up. Even though they're stuffing their faces with all this high-calorie food, their bodies just can't take it in. Well, scientists wanted to know what effects extreme racing can have on the human body, and to do that, they studied athletes in some of the most challenging races around the globe. One of them is the race across America. Athletes cover nearly 5,000 kilometers from California to Washington, D.C. Takes them close to five months. That's an average of six marathons a week. And some women may not be surprised by the next finding from this research, that pregnant women see their bodies pushed nearly as much as those who do these kind of extreme races. Here's the lead author again. Pregnant mothers plot right on that same boundary of human endurance along with the cyclists and Arctic trekkers. Their limits of pregnancy are governed by the same machinery. And what that machinery does is it allows you, as a pregnant woman, to gain weight during pregnancy, which of course she has to. But if you try to push the body much harder, you can't maintain weight anymore. You end up losing weight. So that ceiling was lower than we thought it would be, and it's just above the expenditures that pregnant women experience as they go through pregnancy. Now, Samantha Fanshaw is an ultramarathon runner. She's currently organizing Racing the Planet, which is where athletes run in four 250-kilometer races in different deserts. Here she is. So without having done the formal studies ourselves, actually the result coming out of this study is not a million miles from what I would have expected, um, starting with the further you go, the slower you go. But looking at um, the number of calories that you're looking at intaking and being two and a half times um, your normal resting body rate make, makes a lot of sense over time. But what's interesting is that lots of people who are involved in extreme endurance events will tell you this is a lot about mind over matter, but clearly there's a limit to what the mind can do. There certainly is a limit to the, what the mind can do, but I would say that there's more of a limit of what the body can do. Um, the mind, it takes a certain person to be able to push it, your, your mind beyond where it thinks that it can go. But with the body, you have to be a little more careful um, because you need to stay within the safe realms um, of, of how, how far you can push, how um, much you can sweat, how little you can drink, etc. cetera, um, when it comes to, to the physical side of things. And now that we've learned more about the limit of the body, does that inform what you would put into your body to do well in one of these events in terms of when you eat and what you eat and when you drink and what you drink? It absolutely does uh, to an extent, um, but I think this study doesn't change any of that, is that your body can only go so far if it doesn't have uh, suitable fuel going in at, at good timing intervals and also fluids going in um, and the right types of, of fluids. So I think that there's probably more known about how much you need to take in than there is about um, how far you can keep on going with that amount that's been, been put into your body.